Hello everyone and welcome to the next video I'm going to be doing on the uh, on the beta which uh, I'm going to try and do the talents which maximize Blood DK's DPS so currently at the moment they've got um, their full talents out none of them are um, yet to be released so for now I'm going to do a a quick talent guide for what you want to take if you want to maximize DPS currently on the beta in its current state so for the first talent tree you want to take Blood Drinker over Heartbreaker and Rune Strike due to the fact that it just does more damage over time kind of thing. Due to the fact that as you're doing it it's draining 3k and you just get a lot a lot more DPS out of it. If we're looking DPS wise it's just much much better for survivability and obviously if you're alive you're going to bring more DPS than if you're dead than taking Rune Strike or Heartbreaker. Next you want to take Hemiostasis. The reason you want to do this because it's basically like Rattlegore, the, um, the Death Knight legendaries. Which obviously, when you do a um, when you do a blood boil, increases the damage of your death strike. So this basically what you want to be doing is, meanwhile, when you haven't got high stacks of um, homeostasis, you want to just be using your marrow end, keeping your bone shields, and yeah, just using death strikes when you've at least got two stacks of homeostasis. You want to make sure you're getting the full use out of homeostasis because you know if you don't, then what's the point in taking it? But obviously, with, with taking it, you're going to be doing a lot, a lot more damage. So just make sure you're having stacks, stacks of at least one before you start using it. But as you can see, they're hitting really hard even with one stack. Critting for, for 3k, hitting for 1.5 regularly. And if you don't know already, the BFA dungeons, the the add health is around about 20k. So if you can see that damage is pretty good in considerance. Next one, it's defensive, but I think rune tap is just the best in general. It's just a really good extra um, defensive cooldown DKs can have. And recently they changed it so that the anti-magic shell, before it would give you an extra 10% HP as a tank for the DK, but now they've just changed it. Because it increases the amount of more magic damage, so root tap's just better in general for defensive. Next one's down to you, I'll just take Wraith Warp just for that extra um just for that extra movement speed. Next I take um Osh Oshuri. Oshuri, I don't even know how to say that stupid fucking name. But um yeah, I'd take this because it gives you the increased runic power. So sometimes when you're using your a dancing rune weapon, you have a lot of um, spare runic power to use. So you want to make sure that you're not getting full runic power and you're dumping it either into death strikes or blood boils or death and decay and whatever it is. So you just want to make sure you, you know. And with Oshri, it makes sure you never get full runic power. Next, I take blood worms due to the fact that it's dealing damage. Vort. Vorsurus and Mark of the Blood aren't increasing the amount of damage you deal out, whereas Bloodworms are dealing a bit of damage. Although they're healing you well, they're also dealing damage out to the target, so that's why Bloodworms over either of them too. And obviously for the last one's Bone Storm. It's just, you know, Purgatory's Purgatory, you won't die. Red First is, you know, Red First, as it was before in my other guides, but Bone Storm is just what you want to be taking. So to start with, what you want to be doing is... Um, before you start, pop your dance room weapon, you want to use Blood Drinker, and then use your um, weapon. And just start using your Blood Boils, and then start using Death Strikes after that. Also want to make sure you have your um, Bone Shield stacks up, all the way to 15. And after you've got a few um, stacks of Hemiostasis, start using it. Once I've got my Bone Shield up to um, 15, I'm going to use my Bone Storm. So if I just quickly get it up, I'm going to use Icebound Fortitude, just so I can get my... Um, just runic power up. So I'm going to get ready to use uh, Death and Decay's back off cooldown. So what I want to make sure is you're always using Death and Decay on cooldown because you'll usually get it for free a lot of the time. Just going to get, he's going to use Blood Drinker now because it's free. Blood Drinker will deal a lot of damage to the target so you're going to make sure when that's on cooldown you're using it. Just going to use Marrow Ender now so now I've got 15 stacks and I can start using Bone Storm. Going to use Bone Storm now. It's going to be hitting really hard. Keep up my stacks. Use my Death and Decay. Use my blood boils, and now because I've got homeostasis, use it and it will hit hard. <coughs> but yeah, that's about it. And make sure you're using rune taps and um, vampiric just so you're staying alive. But that's currently the, um, the DPS for the blood DKs. It's not as good as it was, but it's definitely better than most of the other tank classes. And with taking these talents, it doesn't really sacrifice a lot of your um, survivability and your self heals. Because obviously you've still got Hemiostasis, which increases the damage and healing of Death Strike, which is going to be, you know, the main spell you use. And Blood Drink is still good, because obviously in Legion that was just the most used talent, because it was just really, really good. But yeah, it deals a lot more damage than Rune Strike. 
If it's AoE, you probably want to be taking Heartbreaker, but just for this example, it was single target on that Demi, so yeah, Blood Drinker. But yeah, that's it. So, um, making videos in the future, so make sure you look out for them. And see you in the next one.